talked about different different leadership styles. Um, Mick and Dave with people focused, and and then Neil Craig and, and Worsfold. So, um, what's one that you've sort of leaned into? What well, I guess. Yeah. What do you see your sort of leadership style? And good, and good yeah. Question. You've um, had some I, significant leadership positions. Yeah. yeah. I like to think that um, I still keep that people first focus um, from early on. Uh, I think yeah. Colin did well at the time. Um, I reckon from Craigie, I really took a um, performance focus um, and how to keep that front of mind. Yep. Um, yeah. So, and then, um, yeah, I know that's such a hard question to answer. There's, there's so, I think, I feel like how I try to lead or how I try to um, yeah, create a positive performance environment and support our practitioners is influenced by all those people. What about for yourself, mate? What are some of your favourite ways to um, develop your methods? Is it, you know, leaning on your network that you've built up over the years? Is it uh, research podcasts? How, how do you like to um, self-develop yourself? Yeah, I mean, I did a, a hell of a lot of formal study. <laughs> I reckon I worked out from prep to when I finished my um, doctorate was 30-odd years, just non-stop. So that, that was always in the background. Yeah. Um, look, I, I just really try to follow my interest. Um, right now I'm doing the Latrobe um, performance health, uh, female performance health modules, um, which are ace. I mean, that costs 50 bucks and it's incredible. <laughs> it's like the, yeah. the level of presenter in, in that is outstanding. Um, and I'm learning a heap, you know. So, um, yeah, if I'm interested, interestingly, one thing um, John Worsfold sort of brought um, to my attention was a uh, a sort of model of professional development that was developed in critical care nurses. And then how would that look for, for the SNCs listening in um, that potentially are looking after a group where there is a, a, a you know, different group of athletes at, at different levels, so open age, I guess. Um, how would that look in the, in the gym or on the field or in rehabilitation, do you think? Yeah, well, the, the amount of time and, and direction you're giving them, you know, I think we've got to be really mindful of, of what we say, um, what we provide that, that, you know, if we provide too much and say too much, it loses some of its um, impetus. And, and if we, um, yeah, just getting learning and each day about our athletes and communicating with them and, and getting a feel for what they do best with and, and also watching them grow and being able to adapt as they, you know, carry on that journey as well. How do you like to conduct your, your meetings? Is it one a day? Is it the start of the day? Is it reflecting at the end of the day? you know, talk us through meetings on a yeah. daily basis, but also uh, weekly as well. And then oh. um, how that feeds into feedback from a, uh, you know, uh, maybe half a year, mid-year sort of review if that happens or... I, yeah. like, um, I like to run through the player list quickly, play by player, each day when, we, when we've got all the information before we train. Um, <laughs> and then... A, I think that's a really important meeting so everyone walks out with the same message on the same page um, mm -hmm. and, and we can have a clear, provide a clear direction to the coach. Um, and outside that, I don't really like meetings, but um, we would, yeah, weekly, weekly we would get together and probably take a bit of a broader view, make, make sure we're incorporating some of the psych, wellbeing, nutrition, 